So faith is known to strengthen any belief and wish and dream that we set our minds and hearts to. And with the right amount of work to accompany it, it is said to have, uh, it said to, so much can be achieved. Well, professional paramedic Sinodi Kaila uh, grew up in a Christian family which contributed to his love for gospel music and became a huge influence to pursuing a music career. After being part of a number of gospel groups and being exposed to different surroundings, he eventually released his first single uh, in 2013 and more singles have followed since then and now his full album titled Gue has proven that he is here to stay as it is quite a hit amongst his fans. Sino Tikele joins us now in studio to tell us more about his music. Good morning, welcome to Morning Live. Good morning and good morning to the viewers at home. Alright, talk to us about as much as growing up in a Christian household what was the, the real inspiration behind pursuing a gospel career? Okay, well, a uh, gospel career, uh, actually, uh, as, as earlier on you've mentioned, that growing up in a Christian home, uh, it has been one of other weapons that uh, bring hope mm -hmm. to the hopeless. It brings healing uh, spiritually, emotionally, and physically. Yeah. And it has been proven. And also that was one of, part of inspiration. Not just that I grew up from the Christian home and I was inspired most by my mother and the environment that which I grew up in. Mm. So that was part of uh, the great inspiration yeah. that propelled me to, to, to get into gospel music. But who gave you the assurance that you can sing? Well, no one knows <laughs> until you get most of the feedback from, from people around. Yeah. Uh, whereby whenever you stand on stage, you sing and people, they get inspired that mm. And then suddenly you, you feel that you get that courage, that yeah. edge, that maybe let me just take it a bit further. Yeah. Yeah. Okay, so you leave being a paramedic and decide, why take the risk? Oh, well, uh, paramedic and gospel singing. Yeah. Actually, I find that those two things, they match. They, they heal. Yeah, it. because uh, you heal people yeah. physically as a paramedic. And singing gospel, you heal them emotionally. So it's an inner and outer wood, uh, mm. healing, actually. Mm -hmm. Yes. Talk to us about, is there a story behind the first album, uh, Guyenzega? Tell us a little bit about that. Well, Guyenzega, I remember uh, it was a few years back, I was in uh, Afghanistan. I was hired by the U.S. government, mm -hmm. working, uh, serving the um, uh, civilians in Afghanistan. So, mm -hmm. And I spent quite about two years, from 2009 all the way up until 2011. Mm -hmm. So I saw the conditions and uh, people... Uh, uh, the, the environment people where they live in mm. and well and I used to engage with uh, the soldiers uh, who are singing who are Christians and then we started uh, uh, this song just came yeah uh, to me well while, while I was sitting in a tent actually we just they give us tents where we can just occupy and sit stay in when we are there in the remote areas so like I was looking at the living conditions of people and I said you know what all things are possible. Whatever is impossible with man, it is possible with God. Mm. This country can turn out to be a country like any other countries and can be a favorable condition also. People, they can live like normal life, not to live a life whereby you don't know whether you're going to survive today, how are you going to make ends meet and all mm. that. So because the living conditions were terrible. Yeah. Yes. Talk to us about Nguwe. How have people responded to that? And Nguwe is just my latest album that came out early this year. Well, I'm, I've been getting a great support. Like right now, in the next few hours, I'm flying to Ghana. So I'm going to be there for the next few weeks uh, on a music tour. Then I'll come back probably end of this month of April. And I'm getting a lot of support, mainly outside. So I'm hoping, I'm yet hoping that in my country, in South Africa, they will eventually support it. Mm -hmm. but what for you has been the highlight of embarking on this musical career? Uh, well, it's quite a lot of things, yeah. So, to me, music is life. So, and hurting people are everywhere. Mm. 
uh, I would have named this project Healing, not just Nguwe. Uh, it heals, it brings hope. Uh, those are the things that are the pillars behind me uh, releasing this album. So uh, it's just to bring hope, to restore, to refresh, mm. to strengthen people. All right, so how do people get a hold of you or the CD? I'm available on uh, inter Instagram, Twitter, yeah. Facebook, uh, yeah. at yeah. Yahoo, uh, and also available on my uh, website, www.sinotikpele.com. And uh, it's available on iTunes, uh, uh, Rhapsody, e music, beat music, and it's yet to be available in stores soon. Wow. All right, Sino Titkele, thank you so much for talking to us. He's our first music guest talking to us about his uh, journey in the gospel industry, taking us through his journey of faith. Uh, as he said, to find out more about the album Tatlungu, go to his website www.sinotitkele.com. All right, let's take a nap break. Stay with us.